Well, we've done it. We've turned the page of another calendar, year 2023. It takes me a while to remember that. I still write checks, and I, I'll put 22 for quite a while, I'm sure. A new year invites us to a new perspective. Let go of the old, what I've done, and what I have failed to do. It's always time to give and receive pardon, to adopt new habits. I like the word habit a lot better than resolution. Resolution makes us feel guilty when we break it. But now, habit is something that, you know, we work at, and hopefully we kind of grow in whatever it is that we want to form as a habit. So far, there are no intrinsic reasons why a new year will be any different from the old year. But what a good way to begin. We're here in church to honor Mary, the mother of God. Now on Christmas, our focus, of course, was on the infant Jesus' birth, one like us in all things, except sin, of course. Another beautiful baby was born, human flesh. Now, Jesus didn't come into the world without the hard work of Mary. Giving birth can be pretty tough. I've seen it on TV, it's pretty tough. Mary bore him flesh, and blood. Today's solemnity turns our attention to the fact that Mary gave birth also to this Jesus Messiah who was Son of God. One might wonder how God, who existed from all eternity, can have a mother. That's something to ponder for sure. What a mystery. Well, Mary gave birth to Jesus, who is human and divine. Jesus is light and enlightenment for all the world. He gives us eternal life and has shown us the way through respect for God and for care of one another, and especially the poor, and especially those who are hurting in any way. Joined to him, we are children of God. Of course, that makes us sisters and brothers. We don't always act that way, but that's for all people all around the world. Yet we know all is not well. Many didn't listen then, and many don't listen, ponder, and reflect enough today. Church and faith seem to be on a decline, especially in the United States and in Europe. Now, there's good news in other parts of the world. It's flourishing like in the Latino communities in like Africa, Vietnam. The church is growing and blossoming. So it's good to be a part of that whole body, the church. Secularism is too prevalent. Materialism is a, a temptation. War, violence, Terrorism, hunger, and poverty haunt us. Too many are lacking in integrity to take the low road instead of the high road. The truth can be hard to find. We've been arguing about that a lot in the last two or three years. Too many deal with disappointments in relationships, 
illnesses and struggles with vices, depression, as well as hopelessness. Indeed, all is not well. We got our work cut out for us for a new year. Lots to be done. Things were not always easy for Mary or for shepherds. Mary models a willingness to listen to God. She models selflessness and courage way back then as a woman. Her role in Jesus' life was paramount as most mothers. She reflected and pondered the events that were happening to her in her life. Mary is not only Jesus' mother, but she is our mother as well. Mother of the church, we refer to her as. St. Teresa of Calcutta once said, and I quote her, if you ever feel distressed during the day, call upon the lady. Just say this simple prayer. Mary, mother of Jesus, please be a mother to me now. End of quote. And shepherds were paying attention when drawn to Bethlehem. They were astonished, and they had to tell everyone. They couldn't keep it to themselves. And God blesses us as Aaron blessed the early Israelites. And a blessing means many things. It's a prayer that asks for God's gifts of well-being in all dimensions of life. It means to watch over, to guard, and to protect. We receive blessings here at every Eucharist. Parents are encouraged to bless their children. What a beautiful image that is. We are blessed with family and faithful good friends. So as a new year has begun, 2023, we might ponder where does God's face shine upon me? Or how is God calling me to be the bearer of Jesus? Who surprises me by being God's messengers as shepherds surprised Mary and Joseph. So as 2023 begins, and on this day of world prayer for peace, may we be ambitious to grow in virtues. And so, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you kindly and give you peace throughout 2023 and always. Amen? So be it.